The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. The United Nations launches Making Cities Resilient, a campaign encouraging global urban leaders to boost disaster prevention plans through commitment to a 10 point checklist of measures that maximize human safety. Commemorating World No Tobacco Day, Russian railroad police officers give out candy to underage smokers who relinquish their cigarettes as a way to encourage youths to cease the harmful habit and restore their health. China's Xinyun, now the fastest supercomputer in the country and second fastest in the world, with runs that can be conducted at more than one quadrillion or 1,000 million million calculations per second. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas meets with Indonesian President Susilo Bambang Yodoyono, who offers his country's mediation support for the Middle East peace process. The state of Brunei Darussalam announces the country's first woman ministerial cabinet member, Ms. Dayton Haja Adina Osman, appointed as the new deputy Minister of Culture, Youth and Sports. Purba Tamang of Kotang, Nepal, wins from among 135 participants his second consecutive title for the annual Tenzing Hillary Everest Marathon, the world's highest altitude event of its kind. Kuwaiti ambassador to Bosnia and Herzegovina, Mohamed Kala, plants a tree in Sarajevo symbolizing the friendship and support of his country, which Sarajevo's mayor, Alia Bemin, accepts with thanks on behalf of the Bosnian people. A new Statistics Canada report on food consumption trends reports that Canadians are eating less red meat and dairy while increasing intake of fruits and vegetables to record high levels. The ancient Greek Parthenon in Athens is free of scaffolding for the first time in 30 years as the restoration of the ancient temple approaches completion. Railway chiefs from the Maghreb countries of Algeria, Morocco, Mauritania, and Libya meet in Tunisia to discuss financing of high-speed trains and the expansion of existing routes to favor trade and information exchange among their nations. <laughs>